Hey guys, it's uh, Michael Kummer from michaelkummer.com and today I'm going to show you a video on how to create a global keyboard shortcut that allows you to add a reminder anywhere from within OS X. So no matter what application you're in or what you're doing right now, with a simple keyboard shortcut you can create a reminder for stuff that comes up. For instance, I may be writing a paper or I may be on a conference call and suddenly there is something that comes up that I needed to be reminded about. Or my wife steps in and says, hey, can you please buy milk when you leave in the afternoon or something like this. The problem is, you know, you're working on something and you want to add a reminder. So what you typically would have to do is, and what I do, I open the reminders application, I add a new reminder, buy milk, and... I'm going to set a due date to be reminded about. And very often, I mean, I think that's a button in the reminders application. As soon as I click or select remind me on a day, that little layover here goes away and I have to go in again and set the time. And that's really annoying. But even without that, it takes a couple of steps to really create that reminder, especially if you're in the middle of something like in a conference call and you don't want to bring up the reminders application and take those extra steps. So what can you do to automate this or to create a shortcut that allows you to create a reminder from anywhere without having to open the reminders application first? Well, let me show you how it's done. We're gonna get rid of this guy here. What you need for that is you need a little bit of Apple script. Don't worry, you don't need to know how to program. I have one prepared for you. And so we're gonna open the automator. The automator basically allows you to, to automate things. And in our case, we are going to create a service and I'm going to explain you why in a little bit. And we're going to set this guy to no input. And we're going to set this guy to any application. So this service, we should be able to call from any application. And that's important because we want to have a global shortcut. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an action or a workflow. And what we're going to do is we're going to add Apple Script. And that Apple Script is actually what does the magic. So we're going to remove the default script here and I think I have already a sample script here in the clipboard and I just pasted it in here it's on the web page it's on www.michaelkummer.com I'm gonna post a link below from where you can copy paste that script and before we do anything we're gonna compile that script and make sure we don't have any syntax error that may have been caused by copy pasting and I'm gonna walk you through the script here so you can get a rough idea of what's happening even though you're not a programmer you don't know Apple script very well basically everything we put into a try and on error block that basically means that we're gonna try to execute this stuff if something goes wrong it simply resets everything and displays an error message here down below that says something went wrong and you can obviously modify the text if you're so inclined to but up here we're gonna do a couple of things first we're gonna set our default text delimiter to a colon and we're gonna do this because our script can accept input including a colon and then we're gonna display a dialog that says hey what would you like to be reminded about and we're gonna parse the input and we're gonna look if within that input there is a colon and if there is then we're gonna treat the part in front of that colon as the number of hours that should make up the due date and the stuff behind the colon as the subject name of the reminder what the script then continues doing is it looks if there is more than one item separated by that colon here and if there is as i said it treats the first part as the hours the second part as the subject it sets up the reminder's name it sets up the reminder's time based on that if there is no colon in there so if i did not specify the amount of hours i want to be reminded about or reminded in then i'm just going to default to two hours and you can certainly change that as well so very often when i have to set a quick reminder i'm going to push the due date out by two hours so i have plenty of time to finish up whatever i'm doing and then i want to be reminded and then i basically tell the application to create a new reminder with the following properties the remind me date and the subject name and that's pretty much it and then i'm going to set the delimiters back to whatever they were before i messed with them here in the beginning and that's really it so that's fairly simple and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to save this script or this automator action by pressing command s and i'm going to call it create reminder okay so now that that reminder has been created and because i said i want this to be a service automator was smart enough to put it into a specific directory and let's see if we can find this directory here real quick it's usually under your user folder and then under library and then under services and there you go here it is so that basically tells the operating system hey if there is a service in here it's available for use so we're going to close automator we can close finder here as well and last but not least we want to set a keyboard shortcut 
So we're going to go into System Preferences, Keyboard. We're going to go into Shortcuts. We're going to go into Services. And then you can scroll all the way down. And somewhere here on the bottom, you already see it enabled, our Create Reminder service. And then the last thing you have to do is set a shortcut. Now, one that I use, because I know it's not used anywhere else, is Control, Option, Command, R. So you click here, and then you click the keys you want to have or you want to use. Again, in my case, Control, Option, Command, R. And then you close this System Preferences window. And then, technically, your service should be available. And as you can see, I'm just using Finder as an example. But in any other application, it should be available as well. If you go to Finder Services, you see your Create Reminder service with the corresponding shortcut. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press Control Option Command R. And there you go. Our dialog pops up. And we're going to say Buy Milk and say OK. And then for the first time, you're asked if whatever the calling application was, in our case, Finder was active because there was no other application active, if you would like to allow access to your reminders and you say, okay. And as a result, nothing is going to happen. So you're not going to get switched out of your application that you're working on. But if you go into reminders, you see that reminder that we just created by milk two hours out. So it's now 6.25 a.m. So the reminder was naturally set to the default time of 8.25 a.m. And that is it. So let's try this again. But this time we're going to use a three hour prefix. So that three colon that basically tells us use three hours as the due date instead of the default two. And then we're going to have the subject names. So we're going to say buy bread. And we're going to say OK. And you saw that thing jumping here for a moment, basically indicating something happened. And as you can see, we have to buy bread at 9.26 a.m. And that's really it. That's how simple it is to create a reminder using a global keyboard shortcut. So you don't have to go to the reminders application first and manually add a reminder if you're in a hurry. I hope you like this video. If you do, or if you did, appreciate a comment or a like down below in the feedback section. And thanks, guys. Bye-bye.